Hi, my name is Ray and I'm a science communicator here at Science North. We're here on Lake Ramsey, which is frozen because it's the middle of February and we're going to look at what happens to lakes when they freeze over. So we're going to drill a hole under the ice and see what's going on. So we've confirmed the presence of liquid water under our ice. We're going to see what's happening and how cold that water is using our handy dandy digital thermometer. And it's about three degrees Celsius, which is pretty warm when you consider the ice on top is zero degrees and the air up here on the surface is less than zero. So let's go back to the lab and find out why that is. All right, we're going to do a little experiment here with some cold water, which I've colored blue, and some warm water, which I've colored red. I've got this fancy container that is divided down the middle. I'm going to pour cold water into this side, warm water into that side, and then pull the divider out, and we'll see what happens. So you can see that they're not mixing. The cold water has sunk to the bottom and the hot water is floating on top. That's not what's happening out on Lake Ramsey right now because there we have cold ice floating on warmer water. So we're going to need another experiment to find out what's happening. Okay, so to see why the cold ice is floating on warmer water, I've got an experiment you can try at home. First thing you need is a container of water, preferably one that you can see through so you can make some observations. Second thing you need is an ice cube with a bunch of food coloring in it. So these are easy enough to make in a regular ice cube tray. So what you do is you drop your ice cube into the water and watch what happens. As the ice begins to melt, you're gonna see little rivers of food coloring sinking to the bottom. And that's more like what's happening on Lake Ramsey. There's a point where water starts to float. And that's at about zero to four degrees Celsius. In that range, water actually gets lighter as it gets colder and then it freezes as ice on the surface. So if you're a plant or animal that lives in a lake, it's pretty good news that you have liquid water under solid ice all winter long. That means that there's a flourishing ecosystem no matter what the season. That's some pretty cool science. <laughs> 